Hello and welcome to Mind Library. In this video, we'll be exploring the book Incognito by David Eagleman. In this insightful book, Eagleman takes us on a journey into the mysteries of the human brain and sheds light on how our minds work. By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of the workings of your own mind and how it shapes your perceptions, thoughts and actions. If you're fascinated by the mysteries of the mind and want to learn more about the workings of the brain, then you've come to the right place. We explore everything from consciousness and perception to memory and decision making, all with the goal of gaining a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. So, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join our community of curious minds and stay up to date on all of our latest videos. Let's dive in. 1. The Brain Behind the Scenes Have you ever wondered what goes on in your brain when you're not paying attention? According to Eagleman, our brains are constantly processing information, even when we're not consciously aware of it. In fact, he argues that our unconscious mind is responsible for much of what we do, think, and feel. Have you ever found yourself suddenly craving a particular food or feeling anxious for no apparent reason? These feelings may be the result of unconscious processes in your brain. By becoming more aware of these processes, we can gain greater control over our thoughts and actions. 2. The Neurology of the Unconscious In this chapter, Eagleman delves deeper into the neurology of the unconscious mind. He explores how our brains are wired to process information, and how this wiring affects our perceptions and actions. He discusses how our brains process visual information. Even though we see the world in three dimensions, our brains process visual information in two dimensions. This means that what we see isn't always an accurate representation of reality. By understanding how our brains process information, we can begin to question our perceptions and gain a more accurate understanding of the world around us. 3. The Illusion of Control In this chapter, Eagleman explores the illusion of control. He argues that much of what we do is guided by unconscious processes, and that we have less control over our thoughts and actions than we think we do. Have you ever found yourself making a decision and then later questioning why you made that decision? This may be because your unconscious mind was guiding your decision-making process. By becoming more aware of our unconscious processes, we can gain greater control over our thoughts and actions. 4. The Pleasure Principle In this chapter, Eagleman explores the role of pleasure in our lives. He argues that much of what we do is driven by the pleasure principle, the idea that we seek pleasure and avoid pain. Have you ever found yourself eating something unhealthy even though you know it's bad for you? This may be because your brain is wired to seek pleasure, even if it's not in your best interest. By becoming more aware of our unconscious processes, we can begin to make more conscious decisions that align with our long-term goals. 5. The Hidden Brain In this chapter, Eagleman explores the idea of the hidden brain, the part of our brain that processes information unconsciously. He argues that by becoming more aware of our hidden brain, we can gain greater control over our thoughts and actions. Have you ever found yourself acting on impulse and later regretting it? This may be because your hidden brain was guiding your actions. By becoming more aware of our hidden brain, we can begin to make more conscious decisions that align with our long-term goals. 6. The Secret Lives of the Brain In this chapter, Eagleman explores the secret lives of the brain. He argues that much of what goes on in our brains is still a mystery, and that there's much we have yet to learn about how our minds work. He discusses the phenomenon of synesthesia, the experience of one sense triggering another sense. Some people with synesthesia may see colors when they hear music, or taste flavors when they see certain colors. This shows just how complex and mysterious the workings of the brain can be. 7. The Social Brain In this chapter, Eagleman explores the role of social interaction in shaping our brains and our behavior. He argues that we are social creatures, and that our brains have evolved to thrive in social environments. He discusses the importance of empathy in social interactions. Empathy allows us to understand and share the emotions of others, and is a crucial component of building and maintaining social relationships. 
By becoming more aware of our social brain, we can better understand our own behavior and the behavior of others. 8. The Split Brain In this chapter, Eagleman explores the fascinating phenomenon of split brain patients. These are individuals whose corpus callosum, the structure that connects the two hemispheres of the brain, has been severed. This results in two separate, independent halves of the brain that operate independently of each other. He discusses the famous case of a split brain patient who was shown an image of a chicken in his left visual field and a snow scene in his right visual field. When asked to pick out a matching object, he chose a shovel with his right hand, controlled by the left hemisphere, and a chicken with his left hand, controlled by the right hemisphere. This shows just how complex and mysterious the workings of the brain can be. 9. Consciousness and the Self In this chapter, Eagleman explores the nature of consciousness and the self. He argues that our sense of self is a construct of our brains, and that our conscious experience is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the workings of the mind. He discusses the phenomenon of blindsight, the ability of some blind people to navigate their environment without conscious awareness of what they're seeing. This shows just how complex and mysterious the workings of the brain can be, and raises questions about the nature of consciousness and the self. 10. Embracing the Mysteries of the Brain In the final chapter of the book, Eagleman encourages us to embrace the mysteries of the brain and to continue exploring the workings of our own minds. He argues that by doing so, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. He suggests that we can engage in practices like meditation or mindfulness to become more aware of our own thought processes and gain greater control over our behavior. By embracing the mysteries of the brain, we can unlock our full potential and live more fulfilling lives. Incognito offers a fascinating exploration of the mysteries of the mind and the ways in which our unconscious processes shape our thoughts and behaviors. From the illusion of the ego tunnel to the slippery nature of the self, Eagleman's book offers a wealth of insights and ideas for anyone interested in the workings of the brain. By becoming more aware of the limitations of our conscious experience and the competing systems in our brain, we can make more conscious choices and better understand our own behavior. That's all for now, but we hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the fascinating insights and ideas presented in David Eagleman's Incognito. Remember, if you want to continue learning about the mysteries of the mind and unlocking your full potential, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Mind Library community. We've got plenty more content coming your way, so stay tuned and keep exploring the wonders of the brain.